Hi everyone, good morning. Thanks for having me here. Uh, my name is Alexandre. I am a research scholar in the Small Foot Horticulture Program from WSU under the supervision of Dr. Luisa de Vela. And today I would like to share our research about the sporic calcium accumulation in raspberry fruit to inform fertilized strategies. So in this presentation, I will cover about the raspberry and the calcium accumulation and the role of the calcium importance for uptake calcium in the fruit production. So about our research certification is for ya. Calcium products are applied by many growers, berries to advance the fruit quality and shelf life. However, there are no evidence uh, to students to report the best stage or for calcium apply, like in the buds, in the flower, or the early green, or late green, or as well in the ripe stage. Uh, calcium is one essential nutrient for the grow and develop plant. So the plant need calcium for developing, complete the cycle. And calcium as well is associated with uh, health plant and food quality because give the vitamins for plant. And the plant health because uh, calcium help the plant to protect against diseases some pests. And calcium as well is responsible for mechanical and mechanical cell wall resistance. Uh, as you can see here, the whole of the calcium between the lamina media and the cell wall give this resistance for the, the, the cell. Another importance of the calcium is the act with secondary messenger. Physiology of calcium. Calcium is immobile in, in micronutrients. Uh, because of that, uh, young leaves and fruit display calcium deficiency first. Uh, as you can see here, like a uh, symptom of the beet, beet in the apple, and blossom and then root in tomato. Calcium may take up from the soil solution. Because of that, you need to have the moisture in the soil. It transpiration plus calcium in xylem for each to leaves and fruit is so important for uptake calcium. About calcium uptake, uh, like I mentioned before, uh, calcium mobility is limited in the soil, in the plant as well. It has some factors that limit the calcium uptake, like uh, the low soil moisture in the soil, and some factors like weather condition, like cold temperature, and crowded, crowded days can affect the opening stomach in here and as well decrease the transpiration on the leaves. This thing can uh, limit of mass flow, flow in xylem to have the uptake cost for, for the roots, for go to fruits and leaves. About uh, calcium foliar application, foliar feed is one alternative for soil fertilization. Um, uh, result for foliar feed which calcium are inconsistent, um, as you can, you can see here. Uh, inconsistent result could be due in proper time of calcium application. As you can see, the best time for calcium application, this is one, one paper from blueberry growth stage. The best time for blueberry is between pentalfrow and late green. After that, you if probably you apply calcium is not to work, is not to uptake. And in knowledge of calcium during this raspberry fruit will be informed for fertilizer time for the best time for growth apply calcium. So our objective in this uh, research is determine uh, the peak uptake of period of calcium across the raspberry fruit develop stage. As you can see here, between S1, we have the closed green bugs, and S7, when we have the mature fruit. And another objective in this uh, experiment is uh, to determine the uh, raspberry genotype differ in the calcium uptake and accumulation. So uh, our sample collection was uh, performed every two weeks between May to August 2022 
from three field to, from three genotypes, a uh, maker, weak field, and weak haven. Uh, this plant was uh, this field was planted in 2011 for weak field, 2020 for weak haven, and 2021 for maker. This field is located in commercial field near in Linden. Is this importance about this trail is the field had no foliar fertilized application. And we collect three row for each genotype. About the sample process, after you have the sample in the field, for the we collect buds, flower, and fruit, we bring to the lab to follow the procedure for the protocol for to have the sample grind uh, in packed and sent for to the lab for analyze. As well, in the end of the season, we collect leaves sampling and soil sampling to send to lab and to have the standard nutrient analysis for we compare and to have the analysis data and to observe the pattern of calcium accumulation across the developmental stages. Uh, this is all about our result. This is for Mika. Uh, in this blue line, you have uh, the, the calcium content milligram per barrel. In this back line, you have the dry weight milligrams per barrel. As you can see here, uh, between the, the peak period of uptake is between the S4, S6. And here is the peak period. What but happens something about the in here between S6 to S7, uh, the calcium decrease because decrease because when we collect uh, S7, we collect only the dupet is the receptacle stay in the plant because of that the calcium decrease in the fruit. And now we have the compare the. Uh, the calcium content in dry weight in fruit for Mikan, for Wakefield, and Wake Haven. Uh, uh, as I mentioned, the peak period for all of them is between S4, S6. Uh, the calcium uptake is greatest in the Mikan when we compare on Wakefield and Wake Haven. As you can see here, Mikan have the greatest uptake. Uh, it causes the crying at seven for all of them in here, uh, doing two laws of the receptacle. This decrease about the 61% for Mika, 41% for Wakefield, and 6% for Wakehaven. Uh, about the Hesibel uh, receptacle receptacle contained calcium, we find this paper. Uh, this stood found the calcium crystal on receptacle surface. As you can see here, he, this is strong, he finds some strong degree for attachment between the berries and the receptacle for more calcium crystal. We can do the same anal anal analysis for doping test. Like, uh, as you can see here, this paper finds some crystal of calcium in uh, receptacle. About soil and leaves calcium, uh, the soil calcium is above the efficiency level, which is uh, 1,000 uh, milligrams for kg. Uh, the most of the time, the deficiency is not because of the, uh, is, ab is above of the, is not because of the deficiency in the soil. It's because of the fruit develops so fastly, and the plant don't have enough time for supply this demand. And as well for leaf sampling, uh, the leaf con is within uh, sufficient range between 0.6 and 2%. Now about the association between soil and fruit, we can extract more calcium from soil and allocate more to the fruit, as we can see here. And every fruit genotype may have high demand for calcium when we compare Mikan, Wakefield, and Wakehaven. Uh, so about our conclusion is uh, calcium fertilizers are like optimized during the peak period of uptake between S4 and S6, uh, between how develop and immature fruit. 
this is the best period for apply calcium. And another point is milk fruit may have a high demand for calcium when you compare with Wakefield and Wake Haven. And the next step include the uh, analyze all the nutrients like calcium, potassium, and some uh, uh, microscopy study. The plan to optimal fertilize time in source 2023. So my knowledge for Dr. Lizzo De Vera and drive Brian and Scott for analyze the sample for us and my crafting and high speed for collaboration with this research, as well the small fruit horticulture team, which was the give the big help for us. Uh, thank you. If you have any questions. In bluebirds, uh, does the plant pick up the most calcium as a foliar spray or as a, a drench in the soil? Sorry? In bluebirds, the question is the, 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 uh, the most of the take is from soil than for your feeding. This is the question? Yes. Okay. Yeah, the most, the most uh, source of the, for, for calcium is for soil when you compare the for your feeding. And but the the growers try to apply calcium for to, to improve the food quality and shelf life. But uh, this is, is not enough uh, uh, consistent yet the time, the correct time. In this paper, we found the best time is between the pental flower and late green fruit. Any other questions? All right, thank you, Alexander. Next, we'll be hearing again from Lisa DeVetter. Um, She'll be talking about the impacts of organic nitrogen fertilizer source and rate on blueberries in Eastern Washington. <laughs> 